Hi, how you doing? Justin here. In this lesson today, we're going to be checking out a traditional 12-bar blues using a chunka chunka rhythm. Now, chunka chunka rhythm is just the word that my teacher taught me to describe this shuffle, which we talked about earlier. With a, we talked about like strumming it. Now we're doing kind of a proper 12-bar blues style. So let me just play it for you first once through. I'll play it at a kind of medium up tempo just so it doesn't take too long. But we're going to be taking through it nice and slowly. So this is what it sounds like. Three, four. <laughs> That's it. Straight ahead, 12 bar blues, you can hear chunka 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 is where you get that little rhythm from. So it's pretty straightforward. The big thing that you have to try and deal with here is that you're playing two strings at a time. Now what we're going to start off, I'll go to a close up of this in just a second, but we're just going to be using one finger, it's going to be on the note E, and we're going to be playing two strings on this very first chord. It's going to be an A chord, and we're going to be playing the open A string, which is the fifth string. Hopefully you know that by now, because you know your open string note names, don't you? And also the fourth string, which is the one with the note E. First finger playing the second fret of the fourth string. And we're going to play those two notes, then again, and then our third finger is going to go down in the same string as the first finger, and you're plucking the same two notes. So remember, while we're on the A chord, which is the first thing we're going to look at in a second on the close-up, you just want to be playing the fifth string and the fourth string, and you're going to be using all down picks for this whole exercise. Okay, let's go to a close-up. So here we go. Here's the first finger in the second fret of the fourth string, and we're going to be playing the open A string and this note. And the first finger kind of lifts up a little bit to make sure that those other strings underneath it are a bit muted. It doesn't really matter so much on acoustic guitar, but maybe on electric guitar it will make a difference. So may as well get into the habit of muting those strings as well while you're at it. So you're going to do two picks on this. Then your third finger is going to go down two frets further, which is the fourth fret, on the same string that your first finger is on, which is, the, of course, the fourth string. And then we go back again. So first finger, third finger, first finger, third finger down. Now, I just played one bar, so the count for that would be one and two and three and four and. So that would just be one bar. Now, if you look at the sheet music for this, you'll probably notice that we do four bars of A. Maybe you even remember the, the sheet music for this from playing the 12 bar blues with the shuffle rhythm before with the strumming. Hopefully you remember at least the pattern, the order of the chords. If not, you need to check out the sheet music on the website and then get back to here. So here we go. Now we're gonna do this A chord for four bars. So we'd have one and two and three and four and second bar. go to the D, what we're going to do is simply move our first finger over, like toward the ground one string, and the, the note that the third finger will go on will also move toward the ground one string. But whenever we change strings, we start with just the first finger on, and that's it. And we do two bars now on the D. Of course, the strings that we pick have all ch so changed, we're now picking the middle two strings. Here we go for the D. One and two. first finger up toward the ceiling one string so it's now on the fifth string and we're plucking the open E string the lowest fattest thickest string and this note here with the first finger we do one bar on E one and two and three and four and big jump all the way to D one and two and three and four and one we're back on A now three and then 
down to E again. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Now it's really important here that you keep that first finger back in that second fret. Try to avoid going one, and two, and three, this kind of thing. That's really bad form. Try and get those fingers nicely spread out all of the way through. So I'm going to play now once through this whole thing really slowly to let you have a go at playing along with it. Really try and get the feeling for this chunk -a chunk -a chunk -a chunk -a feeling, the shuffle, because it's an integral part of playing this style. So also make sure that you're picking just the right strings. It's kind of difficult sometimes to make sure that you're picking the open string as well as the fretted note. And partly this is because your pick hand has got quite used to playing where your finger is and suddenly you're having to pick on the thick string uh, above, physically above, the string that your finger's on. So this hand's kind of, if it's developing a sense of connection with the other hand, you're having to break it for this exercise. That's why it can be a little bit sticky sometimes. So here we go, nice and slow. Three, four, one, and two. Jump over to E, and two, and three, and four, right over to D, two, and three, and four, and back to A, two, and three, and four, and E, and two, and three, and four, and A. Always a good idea to finish this blues on an A. It kind of makes it sound a little bit finished. If you just stop on the E, it kind of sounds weird. So the thing you're going for now, really trying to make sure that you don't stop in between the chord changes, trying to make sure that you pick the right strings and then you get the groove really nice. Now this 12 bar blues in the key of A fits perfectly with the A minor pentatonic scale that we've been looking at. So if you've got a jam buddy, somebody that you're doing some practice with, one guy can sit there and play the 12 bar blues and the other guy can muck around with the A minor pentatonic scale and make up a solo over the top. That's how these two things kind of link together and it's very, very cool fun. So we're going to talk about that a little bit more later on, but for now what you want to do, really work on getting that the 12 bar blues rhythm style properly solid. So I hope you enjoy that look at the blues and I'll see you for another lesson sometime real soon.